Hey everyone, okay so today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Bare Pro by Bare Minerals which is a 16 hour skin perfecting powder foundation and here it is. So I'm going to try Light 2.0 which I have here and I think it's going to be a relatively good match. It might be perhaps a tad too dark, I guess we'll see. So these were sent to me by PR, they just arrived in my, my slot. They arrived by the postman. I didn't know they were coming. So let's give them a go. So the one thing that I think is really interesting about Bare Minerals is that I have always loved Bare Minerals. I've always loved, if you've watched me from the beginning, I've always loved Mineral Foundation. I've always found it to be so beautiful on the skin. It was one of the first brands I ever tried. I found it in Monmouth. And back then they sold the minerals in these sets and they were these square boxes and they were quite beautiful and you really did get a lot of product for your money back then it was a very very beautiful i remember it so well so this is called a powder foundation it doesn't claim to be a mineral foundation at least from the packaging so and it looks like a powder foundation this does look different to a pressed mineral so this is clearly a powder so let's just start and see where we go nothing on my skin other than just the fact that I'm greasy so let's just start and we'll see where we build up okay so off the bat from what I can tell it offers light to medium coverage straight off it is a little bit deeper than my skin tone this shade uh, this is the ones that were sent to me and I can only go by what I've got and you know no one's going to be instantly horrified by this it certainly is a decent match so whoever sent this congratulations you did pretty well in terms of my skin tone they didn't reach out or anything it was just sent which is really nice so that's one single pass on the skin now I'm gonna look in my mirror here. I think that looks bloody lovely. I think that's really, really good. How much product do you get here? You get eight grams of product. I think that's really, really good. I love the original mineral foundation and the matte foundation, the loose. I hated their pressed version when it came out many, many years ago. I hated it. I thought it was hideous. This is so good. I'm gonna do one more pass all over the face just to see what kind of coverage we get from kind of two passes. The thing with powder foundation compared to um, like liquids is that liquids tend to get heavier quicker, whereas powder foundations, you tend to keep the same coverage, but it goes up kind of like half a level or so. So for me personally, I prefer that one pass for me this is too much coverage and i wouldn't feel personally comfortable going out like this it's too much product on my skin and i don't want anyone to ever think that there's anything on my skin at all but this is so good let me just look in the little one oh that's so good so i need to go down a level i think i would have probably been like a cooler tone but other than some of the areas I've missed, which is kind of right here. Other than that, I mean, that is lovely. Oh, it's, I really like this. Got a huge hair on my nose that's it's got to be pulled down. I love, love this. This looks beautiful. They also sent me two blushes, a kiss of pink and a kiss of rose. That's pink, that's rose. So should we try them? They look really pretty. Um, let's try rose because I wouldn't normally try this on my skin tone. So I think it's a bit bronzy, but let's see what happens. Some, will, some of you will remember that my favorite bronzer of all time was by Ben Minerals and, this, and it was called Faux Tan. I've had this about 16 years. I've refilled it several times. I don't refill it so much anymore because it's so expensive. So this was the large size, which they don't do anymore. And if you actually work out, um, 
So this was 20, let me just check here. I'm, it's so old. So this was 2.8 grams. I think now it's like one point something. If you work it out, it, I think it's probably the world's most expensive bronzer when you consider how little you get. But what made it so incredible was that it had a red undertone and true tans have a red undertone. Anyway, bore you with all that bloody nonsense. So Kiss of Rose has 3.8 grams of product. I've never used this before. So I'm just gonna knock it on the back of my hand to see, so it's pretty shimmery. So let's just start with a light hand and build up. Because it has this slight bronze undertone to it, I actually think that it might work quite well as a bronzer as well for certain skin tones. I'm actually gonna apply that to the hairline as well because I do think that this is quite pretty for that kind of look. Okay, and touch a uh, touch to the nose, which I'll blend in a second. Let me get a, can use that foundation brush to just lightly go over the nose and just to blend the edges. That's really pretty. That's really, I think that's really, really quite pretty. I really do. There's something very pretty about it. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand for you and show you the difference between the rose and the pink. So the pink to me is actually more of a peach. So here it is. So the rose is the deeper one. And I think that's much more peachy than pink but it's so pretty. It kind of reminds me a little bit of kind of the Laura Geller ones, which were um, very pretty as well. But these have less shimmer, but there's still quite a lot of visible shimmer here. I am so pleasantly surprised with this. This might be one of my favorite powder foundations. It's, excuse me, it's less coverage than MAC powder foundation. Absolutely, less coverage but more beautiful coverage in my opinion. It looks more beautiful, I think. It's very, very pretty, very pretty. I'm so, thank you so much for sending me them. I'm really pleased with this. This is lovely. See, I like my skin to look like there's nothing on it. And at the moment, this is too much coverage, but one single pass basically for me would be two prints, you know, two sort of steps into the product would be enough to, you know, make my skin look, decent or more decent i really like this this is so good i'm gonna buy i'm gonna definitely buy more well let me know what you think about this product i can't tell you if it's gonna last for 16 hours because you know if you've got dry skin it's gonna last you for like 16 weeks but if you've got oily skin it might last 16 minutes that's the beauty of it you can never tell and you should never rely on the claims but in terms of how it looks it looks so lovely i'm really really pleased with this really really pleased let me know what you think in the comment section. This is bloody lovely. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time. See you all soon, bye-bye.